And we want to begin by directing attention to something very strange and very mysterious which occurred about a hundred years ago, almost a hundred years ago. When Mustafa Kamal and his, they call themselves the Young Turks, <coughs> were able to seize control of the city of Constantinople from its previous Ottoman rulers and then send the Sultan Khalifa packing. I believe he was sent to Switzerland. And when the new administration took control of the country and of the city, they eventually proclaimed it the Republic of Turkey, the secular Republic of Turkey. But that's not all that they did. They decided mysteriously so to move the capital from Constantinople to a place called at that time it was called Angora now it's known as Ankara and not only did they shift the capital out of Constantinople but they also changed the name of the city <coughs> to one of the several other names. You know, New York is also known as the Big Apple. <laughs> so cities have several names. But New York is the official name. So to Constantinople was the official name. And there were several other names. So they chose one of the several other, the Big Apple and they gave to the name, the city, they renamed the city Istanbul. But that's not all. Mustafa Kemal did something more. Something which has to be recognized as monstrously wicked. He prohibited, prohibited the use of the name Constantinople. The law is you're not allowed to use the name Constantinople. It's the law. You violate the law, you pay the price for it. Why did he do that? My answer is that if you are a Muslim, then Nabi Muhammad alayhi salatu waslam is your leader. And if my leader referred to the city by the name Constantinople as he did on several occasions then no Muslim can be part and parcel to changing the name from Constantinople no it's an act of disrespect to the Prophet the enemies may change the name as much as they want but we Muslims will stay with the name used by the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And if you prohibit us from using that name, you are wicked. You are committing a monstrous act of zulm. That's how we start the lecture tonight. I, because I follow Muhammad Alayhi Salaam Wasallam, for the rest of le this lecture, I am not going to use the name chosen by Mustafa Kamal. For the rest of this lecture, I'm going to use the name that Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam used when he said, لَتَفْتَحَنَّ الْكُنْسْتَنْتِنِيَ You will most certainly conquer Constantinople. Why did they change the name? I would like to suggest to you that the answer to that question is located in Ilmu Akhiru Zaman. 
that when you study ilm al zaman or Islamic eschatology, you will quickly realize that the conquest of Constantinople prophesied, prophesied by Nabi Muhammad alayhi salatu waslam has not as yet taken place. And we will prove that tonight, inshallah. That conquest of Constantinople is still to come. But it was part and parcel of the strategy of those who took over from the Ottoman Empire to conceal what is to come, to throw dust in our eyes so that we would forget the subject. We would be lazy in our study of the subject and we would uncritically assume in ignorance assume as so many scholars of Islam have assumed and it's there in black and white on the internet they can't erase it now that they concluded that the conquest of Constantinople by the Ottomans in 1453 fulfilled the prophecy that's the mountain of a mistake which they made and they would live to regret that mistake and so they changed the name of the city in order to obscure the subject they prohibited the use of the name uh, Constantinople in order to obscure the subject that we would forget about it but when the conquest of Constantinople does take place and from tonight from tonight we hope that the subject is going to come back to center stage in the attention of the world because we now have the internet we have YouTube to reach all over the world that when even non-Muslims learn that the Prophet of Islam has prophesied that that city of Constantinople is going to be conquered in the future. This is going to cause NATO to have difficulty in digesting their food. This is going to cause Washington and London and Jerusalem and the so-called Islamic government in Turkey to have difficulty in digesting their food because Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam is now returning to center stage in the world after they have spent all this time and effort waging war on Islam demonizing Muslims demonizing Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam all of that is now going to be pushed aside as Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam returns to center stage and the Turkish government is exposed